what you are looking at is the largest known map art ever created in survival Minecraft, Vale Nebula. It is 12 by 18 maps large, consisting of over 3.5 million blocks placed over the course of 3 months. The amount of time and effort put into a project like this is just insane. So how did we get from map arts that look like this, to ones as crazy as this? Well, there's a lot of history behind the discovery and development of map art in Minecraft, and how anarchy servers like 2B2T and others have become havens for map art creators. There's a lot to cover in today's video, so I'd stick around. It all started way back in 2011, when Minecraft Beta 1.6 was released. Maps were added to the game. By opening a map, it would reveal a pixelated drawing of all the blocks in your surrounding area. It was a nice addition to the game, but they weren't really that useful and were mainly used as a novelty. Plus, back in those days, maps were very limited. The scale was stuck at 1 to 8, and the edges didn't appear to align to any sort of grid, making adjacent maps almost impossible to create properly, and item frames didn't even exist yet, so the only way you could view maps was by holding them. Even with those limitations, players still quickly found out that maps can be used to create portable pixel art by placing blocks flat on the ground. However, because of the 1 to 8 scale that you couldn't change, you had to place an entire 64 stack of blocks for each pixel. That means that you'd have to place over a million blocks just to fill a single map. This limitation alone was the sole reason why map art was extremely uncommon back in the day. However, it didn't stop some players from experimenting, like this redstone-controlled map display by Seth Bling. This machine was pretty cool, but the development of maps still had a long way to go. Meet the 1.4 update. This patch added a ton of new features to maps and fixed almost all the past issues with them. They now align to a grid, which makes creating adjacent maps possible. They can be placed in item frames, maps can be copied, and most importantly, the scale can be changed to 1 to 1. One block for one pixel. Players soon started to realize about this change, finally making map arts practical in survival Minecraft. Many Minecraft servers started to see their fair share of player-created map arts, but no server saw more map art creation than on 2B2T. Because the server is anarchy and has no rules, many players started using 2B2T as their canvas for creating and sharing all types of map art, with some of course being a little too spicy for me to show on YouTube. Anyways, there's even a whole community made up of hundreds of players where all they do is create map art on 2B2T. They call themselves, well, the map artists of 2B2T. This group alone has come up with many advancements in map making techniques. One of those advancements was the carpet duping machine, where players could obtain an infinite amount of blocks for making map art. However, Housemaster recently patched this, which is a bit of a bummer. But one of the biggest innovations made for making map art was a program that converts images into map art schematics. Then, after creating the schematic, an off-the-shelf mod called Schematica is used to overlay the schematic on the server to make the block placements for building map art a lot easier. Here's a map art that I made on 2B2T about a year ago. I designed the artwork myself, being a representation of a highway sign saying spawn, exit only. I even made a reddit post on the 2B2T subreddit to show it off, but you may have also seen it in the background of my livestream intro as well. Anyways, for a while, the map art community on 2B2T was thriving. Many players started to create extensive map art collections, with some consisting of hundreds of map arts. However, there was a problem. A big problem. Little did they know, Minecraft actually has a hard limit to how many maps can exist in a single Minecraft world. 32,767, which is the signed 16-bit integer limit. Nobody really thought much about this limitation, or even knew about it in the first place. After all, they had 32,000 maps to work with. How could players create that many maps? Well, this is 2B2T. The game is deliberately broken all the time on this server. So that's exactly what a player by the name of Kino Rana did. He started creating thousands of maps to intentionally reach the hard map limit. And it happened. On February 25th, 2017, 
the map IDs on 2B2T started going into the negatives, and all new and existing maps would display map 0, which in this case was a blank map. In a flash, all the maps in players' collections were gone, and when you tried to create a new map, it wouldn't work either. The players of 2B2T were outraged. People kept begging Housemaster to fix the maps. However, he couldn't. Nobody could. Except for Mojang. This was an issue with the game itself. On Minecraft versions 1.12.2 and below, there were only 32,767 available working map IDs. And negative map IDs do not work at all. The only way to restore functionality was to create 32,000 more maps to roll the number back into the positives, which would then start overwriting the previous map IDs. This cycle kept happening over and over again after maps were originally broken by Kinorana. Even today, the map IDs on 2B2T are rolled over regularly, happening every few weeks or even every few days. This happens for a few reasons. First off, there's a select few players on the server that actually own all 32,000 map IDs. And the easiest way to get them all? Well, is to make 32,000 maps. So every time a player wants all the map IDs, the maps on the entire server get reset. Some players take it even further and make all 32,000 maps a single image so that every possible map ID in players' collections is that map. It's actually a pretty effective way to spread messages to the entire server. Lastly, some players just reset the maps because they can. And what's stopping them on a no-rules server? Now because 2B2T is stuck on 1.12.2, this is something that continues to happen all the time. However, in every subsequent version of Minecraft, this bug has pretty much been fixed. Instead of the signed 16-bit integer limit being the maximum number of maps allowed, the signed 32-bit integer limit is used instead, which is just over 2 billion maps. That's a lot of maps, and would probably take years to surpass that. However, that's not all. Remember how if maps went into the negatives, they would break all of them? Well, that has also been fixed. Meaning, the negative number maps work too. So the maximum number of possible working maps would be just over 4 billion. If 2B2T ever updates to any new version of Minecraft, I predict that the map art community will enter a renaissance. Now that players won't have to worry about their maps disappearing, maps will spread and collections will start to be made again. Now even though 2B2T is still stuck on 1.12, map arts are still created every day. But for the most part, these maps are almost never spread because it's just not worth it when players know that the map will just be reset after a few days. But once 2B2T updates to a new version, if it ever does, players will immediately render their maps and start distributing them. I wouldn't be surprised if players start having collections of thousands of map arts. Hopefully we'll see the day come, but that, for the most part, is up to Housemaster. Now going back to the largest map art ever created in Survival Minecraft, believe it or not, it wasn't actually made on 2B2T. Instead, it was created by a player by the name of Old Chum, who built it on 9B9T, which is a 2B2T clone server. Now, if that server was running 1.13 or later, that'll be your answer as to why. But 9B9T is running 1.12, just like 2B2T. So the main reason, instead, is that maps on the server rarely, if ever, get reset because the admin implemented a plugin that restricts players to creating only one map per day on the server. Because of this, the map art community is similar to one you may find on a 1.13 Anarchy server. Players can keep their collections for much longer, so it makes sense that this map was created here just to ensure that it wouldn't be overwritten after a few days. Now, should 2B2T take the same approach that the admin of 9B9T did with this plugin? No. I think it's just another band-aid to keep a long discontinued Minecraft version alive. The only real solution, in my opinion, is to update to a newer version of the game. But for now, 
2B2T is stuck on 1.12.2. So spreading a map this large around the server is pretty much pointless, as maps get reset every few days. But I have a theory that there may be a map art that's even larger than the one on 9B9T, but the players who built it are simply waiting for 2B2T to update. Hopefully someday, that time will come.